Hey there, it's me, Red Knight, and welcome back to Heyday. Now, I'm really happy about this one. It's the latest addition to the town user interface improvement. Now, up till now, we've had quite a lot of changes this year for the town, and this is going to be the latest one. And if anything, I think this is probably the most important one that I've wanted in a while. Now, up till now, the big train arrives, okay, it picks up passengers, drops off passengers. Sometimes, as you saw, there will be little green logos there from your hoodies who have actually come to your station, collected some of those passengers, thus giving you reputation points. Now, the train drops off passengers, okay, they request to go to buildings, you service them, you turn them around, you get your gifts, you get your reputation points, you get your XP, you get your coinage, as an example. But there's always been something missing from the actual town, and it's something that I've been requesting for a while, along with quite a few other other people around the world. We want the ability to be able to go to different people's towns and pick up passengers. Now you can see here that I've got 38 of 42 passengers, so there is space within my town for more people. Now what I can do is to actually go and ask my hoodies, and I can go to my hoodies towns and then pick up passengers. But all I can do at the moment is go to the one station. Actually, no, I, I tell a lie. I can go to the more than one station, but I can only pick up from one station. Now, that's kind of okay. You can collect the requisite number of passengers that you need, and that's kind of cool. But if you're doing a derby task, for example, that requires, let's just say, the cowboy. Now, one of your hoodies has three cowboys, another one has two, another one has one, and you need, let's just say, seven cowboys for your task. Now, if you could pick up those cowboys from all of those passengers, it would be perfect. I mean, it really, really would. Now, we have that ability, or we will do in the update. So if I go to Greg's farm here, there's one passenger to pick up. Now, if I click the one passenger, there's no benefit there at all. So if I go back to my actual main town, I look at another hoodie, and then it said, okay, I've got like the passengers there. Great, I can pick up. But like I said, there's no real benefit there. Now, if I want to pick up from new passengers, I can't do it. But with this update, I can. I can now go to more than one platform, and I can now pick up a variety of passengers. Now, I don't know exactly how this is going to work. Can we choose specific passengers? Do we have to collect all of the passengers from that platform? Uh, what is the actual focus going to be? We're going to have to wait and see with the update, and I've got my hopes that it is going to be specific passengers. However, it may not be this. It may be the fact that you've got to collect all of the passengers. So if you've got a capacity for 10 within your train, which is maximized, uh, then you can pick up five from this one, three from this one, and two from that one. And then that's it. You may not be able to select the passengers. Now, I really, really hope it is a selection option, because if so, it's going to make Derby tasks so much easier. Now, the great thing about picking up a passenger, it's one building, so they do turn around quickly. Now, you can actually upgrade your personal train if you wanted to. You can increase that maintenance time till it's maxed out. So the turnaround time is not too bad. It's very, very quick to a certain extent. Now, with the new boosters as well that we're getting for the town, uh, I'm actually kind of excited as well because the boosters for the town, the town user interface upgrade, being able to pick up from more than one town as well. Uh, I like this direction. I really, really do. And I'm really pleased that Heyday has done this. So Heyday, thank you very much, because up till now, my dreams have not been fulfilled to a certain extent, and I'm really pleased. Now, there's still a few more things to do within the town. I would love to be able to plant fruit trees that I could do like on my farm. I'd love to be able to move some of my animal pens over, create a market, and I would also like to be able to mix some of the farm activities within the town itself. But we'll do that one later. But this update interface we're getting brilliant 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 it's totally the right direction to go and i do thank you on behalf of the community it's perfect like literally is perfect
Now, speaking of perfect, look down in the corner. We've got an event coming up on Monday to Thursday. As you can see, it's quite a few days, and it's a help event. And there is a wonderful Christmas decoration up for grabs. So make sure you've got your stock saved up, everybody. Prizes are to be won. Now, speaking of prizes, I did a giveaway on Saturday. Now, apologies if you weren't able to watch it, and I did hear that YouTube had issues with notifying everybody. But five people did win Sheep Plushie. So congratulations to Becky T, Waffles, Dagri, Crafty, Jerry Van Toda, and Patricia P. You will be getting a Heyday Sheep Plushie sent to you in the post. Now, speaking of post, remember I do have fan mail. Send me a letter. Now, if you enjoyed the video, you like the updates, you like sneak peeks, do comment below as usual. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and do hit the notification bell. And fingers crossed it works and tells you when I'm uploading videos or actually live streaming, which is usually on Tuesday and Friday. So do check my tweets, do check my Facebook page, and make sure you come along and watch those live streams as well. But either way, see you in the next update, and I've got some really cool information to share with you in that one as well. But take care, have fun, and fingers crossed the town gives us what we want. Bye-bye.